Hey everybody, hope you're having a good day. I'm back with another on Guardian. This is Mafdet. She is primed in Ice Charm, which is an instant colors uh, paint on primer because it's way too cold to use a can right now. So uh, first off, we're going to be starting is some Gorgon Hide, and we're going to be painting everything that's going to be skin color. Now she has a very nice light blue skin. Uh, this Gorgon Hide has a blue hue to it, but as you can see, it's very pale. Uh, so later on, when we put a wash on top of it, it's going to give it the skin color we wanted. Now for the other two miniatures of the same kind, I've did some different things with them. I'm not going to show them on camera, but you'll see the differences. One with the staff, uh, some you'll notice that the, the, the red is different, the purple, the hood. Uh, a lot of things are different. The skin, I use like, um, I think it was Griff Charger Gray, uh, just to do the skin instead of actually doing a first layer and then a wash. Anyways, I hope you're still enjoying these videos. Uh, the Ankh uh, miniatures have been very popular on the channel. Thank you so much for all your subs support and I've hit 200 subscribers. Um, if you're new to the channel, which 90% of you seem to be, uh, according to this chart, please hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel grow and my next goal is 500 subscribers. The next color I'm going to be using is Pure Red. Uh, this color is just vibrant, amazing. Uh, I forgot how beautiful this red is. Uh, so you're going to be using this on the bottom part of her tunic or wraps or whatever you want to call this. And there's some in the front and a little bit on the back as well. So the next part of her garments are her tunic or whatever you want to call these parts or these capes, hoods, whatever, uh, oozing purple. Uh, another beautiful color I don't use enough. Uh, it's very light, uh, so it's perfect when you put on a nice purple tone later on on the, as a wash. It still keeps it high, but I actually don't use purple tone. I'm going to be using something else, as you'll see in a little bit. All right, now we're going to be using a uh, D&D's unique color called Dracolic Scales. This is a very uh, bluish gray color. This is going to be perfect for her hood. Next we're going to be using some fur brown. This is just for the little tiny parts of hair that are showing on this miniature. So there's some just aside on each side of the head, a little bit on the top of the head, and of course I forget to do the end of her tail, so I catch that off camera and I fix that. Anyways, we're going to move on now to our first wash. This is blue tone. So as you can see, putting it over that original ice frost or ice charm gives it a really dark blue because her jewelry had a blue hint to it with gold. So these parts here, and I'm doing the tail, like I'm doing all the skin with this blue tone as well. So as you can see, that Gorgon Hide still comes up really nicely underneath, gives a nice highlighting. Um, I remember comparing the, the blue tone to Drakenhof Nightshade. Uh, for some reason, it came out beautifully on this miniature and it almost looked like Drakenhof Nightshade from Citadel. So I was really impressed with how the blue tone was working on this miniature. Even on the face here, you can see it works just like almost like a contrast paint, like a real what a wash is supposed to do. And you don't want it to pull up too much, so if it does, you just dab a little bit once your, your uh, brush is a bit dry and you can just remove it off of there. All right, first off, we're going to be using a Vallejo Gaming called Red. <laughs> and I'm putting this on top of it of pure red, but I didn't realize it was just red. I didn't know it had, didn't have a shade to it. So it works like an ink. It actually, because you can see the next ink is violet. And I'm putting it on top of that um, oozing purple. And you can see it actually is uh, keeping the lightness come out through as a highlight, uh, which I thought the red was going to do. But no, it's, it's... But anyways, you know what? That red made it pop even more. And I wanted that, that part of the miniature to actually have focus it was nice it came out really good so I didn't do any highlighting on that at all and I came back to the blue tone because I forgot to do her hood with it uh, so we're just gonna get that part done right here now I'm gonna be doing her uh, scepter or her uh, whatever you want to call this uh, a little differently than in the artwork I'm not gonna go with your typical just gold I'm actually using some green stuff world Color Shift Metallics. Yes, you've seen me use these before, but they're new to me and I'm having fun with them. So you got to prep the area that you're going to be painting this stuff with because you need black uh, background kind of thing. And it needs to be glossy. So I'm putting on some matte black right now on the entire weapon. And I'm going to put some matte varnish on it after you'll see that. 
and then we're gonna get started with that color shift stuff. And while we're at that driver, we're gonna put some demonic yellow for her eyes. This is just a very popping yellow. And then we're gonna start with the greedy gold. Here we go. So it's all her jewelry. So there's some on her legs, her ankles, her hands, her arms, her chest plate. Uh, she's got a, like a big necklace she's wearing. Uh, she's also got like a thing holding her the back of her hood, which I forgot to do as well. So I did that off camera. Uh, so all the little ornaments you do with this nice greedy gold covers up really nicely over the ice charm. It's perfect. Uh, this is a really good primer, by the way. So if you, if you haven't heard of it, Instinct Colors Ice Charm Primer. They also have a bone color and a white one if you ever want to look into those. So it's paint on primer for those days that it's way too cold to use a can of spray. Uh, take a look at that. And while you have that greedy gold out, you're gonna notice on the artwork, or you might not, but uh, also here. So I'm doing like just the edges of where I put that blue tone uh, just to grab the edges so it's like almost like a dry brush over uh, this like these jewelry or whatever this is uh, anyways around her uh, dressing or what's holding up her dressing and you keep that nice blue tone in the background so it comes out perfect and as well as she has like gold skin blotches so like on her skin she has these nice little gold uh, ornaments you can you, I mean I didn't do exactly like what was on the artwork I just went around putting some of these little gold dots everywhere uh, as you can see it, it just gives a little bit more to this miniature like you know, little details like this uh, can make the miniature look really nice so here I'm putting on that gloss varnish like I was saying on her staff on her weapon on whatever it is you want to call this thing uh, and it's gonna make it very shiny so that when the uh, green stuff world stuff goes on uh, it keeps some of that shininess and here I'm saying we're using um, uh, mystic gold so as you can see it goes from a yellow to a gold to a green uh, different angles and you have to put maybe two or three coats of this stuff on there uh, I don't remember the name of the other two paints that I used on the other staffs but you'll see them in the uh, final product there at the end of the video uh, I'll have to do those again at some point on another one but there you have it Mafdet is done I uh, put some different stuff on their bases to have some fun with that as you see there's a the color changing you can see it changes like one looks silver but it's actually a blue color uh, the other one has a red tone to it uh, but turns into like uh, like a pink and a gold really awesome colors anyways thank you all for watching catch you all in the next one